Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's start our lesson in DP014 Physics for SES program with topic 1 Introduction to Physics. In this topic, we have two subtopics to be covered. So these are the learning objective. For 1.1 Physics Understanding, you should be able to state quantities and their respective SI unit. State derived quantities and their respective units and symbol and perform conversion between SI unit. For 1.2 scalar and vector, you should be able to define scalar and vector quantities, compare scalar and vector quantities, resolve the vector into two perpendicular components, x and y axis, and last one, determine resultant vector of two vector components. Let's start with 1.1, physical quantities and unit. The physical quantities actually the quantities that are measurable with instrument in laboratory or can be derived from these measured quantities. It should consist of numerical value and a unit. For instance here, we have mass of a packet of sugar. So the mass is the physical quantities. So how you write the physical quantities? So this is the numerical value with the unit. So the unit will indicate what uh, physical quantities that you want to present. Okay, so there are other examples. Physical quantities are divided into two groups, which is basic quantities and derived quantities. And the standard units for our level is SI units. So SI unit is used as the standard unit for all measurement and calculation. Definition for basic quantities. So the basic quantities defined as fundamental quantity that cannot be derived in terms of other physics quantities. There are seven basic quantities which are length with the symbol L, mass with the symbol M, time with the symbol T, electric current with the symbol I, Temperature with symbol capital T, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. So, in this table, also shown the SI unit and the symbol for unit for these basic quantities. Other than that, we have derived quantities. So, the derived quantities defined as the physical quantities other than the basic quantities. There are divided from basic quantities according to a defining equation or formula. Here is the example of some of the derived quantities with the equation. Notice that for some derived quantities, we have SI base unit that we directly derive from the equation. And we also have derived unit with the special name, okay, which is equivalent to the SI base unit. For example, here I take false. False from the equation, we have F equals to MA. So the SI unit for mass is kg. And SI unit for acceleration, we have meter per second square. So multiply kg with meter per second square, we get kg meter per second square. And this kg meter per second square is equivalent to Newton. You can see the other example in this table. Next is conversion unit. Let's start with unit prefix. Unit prefix is used for presenting larger and smaller values. The table shows all the unit prefix that we use in this level. We have Tera with the value of 10 power of 12, Giga 10 power of 9, Mega 10 power of 6, Kilo 10 power of 3, Desi 10 power of negative 1, Centi 10 power of negative 2, Milli 10 power of negative 3, Micro 10 power of negative 6, Nano 10 power of negative 9, Pico 10 power of negative 12, and Femto 10 power of negative 15. Conversion unit. So the purpose of conversion unit is to let us express a quantity in terms of simpler unit. Our focus is for SI unit without changing its physical value or size. 
Note that only quantities with the same units can be added or subtracted. There are two methods to convert the units. The first one is multiply with the conversion factor. This is the recommended method. And the second one is the substitution. Okay, here is the explanation for this method. Let's look to the method 1, multiply with conversion factor. We treat all units as algebraic quantities. In particular, when identical units are divided, they are eliminated algebraically. And we use the conversion factor. For instance, here, 1 km equals to 10 power of 3 meter. So normally, the conversion factor can be get from the table of prefix. Note, each conversion factor is equal to 1. And number 3, check units cancel out properly and obtain the desired unit. While for the second method, the substitution is usually used to convert unit with prefix to the standard unit. Let's look to the first example of conversion factor. I have here, I want to convert 1 cm square to meter square. So, I use the first method. I write the 1 cm square. I multiply with one of the conversion factor. Here, I want to convert cm to the meter. So, to cancel out the cm, I put the cm at the denominator. And I know that 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. So, this is the conversion factor. And then here, I have cm power of 2. Means that I have to multiply with another conversion factor to get the meter square. The cm and cm can be cancelled out. So, the unit left for you is meter. I get 1 meter square over 10,000. Press the calculator and then I get 0 0.0001 meter square. From the second method, for the unit cm, I put it in bracket. Just the unit that I want to convert to meter. Okay, so cm outside the bracket, I put the power. For the cm, I substitute it with 10 power of negative 2 meter. Okay, and then I bracket it and put the power outside. Multiply the 10 power of negative 2 with the power of 2 here. Then I will get 1 cm square equals to 1 times 10 power of negative 4 meter square. And press the calculator, it also equals to 0 0.0001 meter square. Second example, I have here 37 km per hour. Want to be convert to meter per second. So what I need to do is, from the first method, I just write the number 37 km per hour in a fraction. I multiply the number with the first conversion factor for the kilometer. 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter. For the conversion factor, I put the kilometer at the denominator to cancel out with the number that I have. And then I also multiply the number with the second conversion factor, which is 1 hour over 3600 seconds. You may also write here like this, 60 minute times 60 second. Okay, then I can cancel the unit that same, kilometer and kilometer, hour and hour. So what I have here is 37 times 1000 divided by 3600. Press the calculator, then I get the final answer. From the second method, I still have the number 37 km per hour. So the kilometer, I substitute it with the value of the kilometer, which is 10 power of 3 over 1 hour. And then, I substitute the value of 1 hour with 3600 second. Press the calculator and I get the final answer, 10.3 meter per second.